Hey guys, so uh, I said I was going to be doing some more videos to do with my exposure therapy coming up in 2020 and so today is going to be the first day that I'm going to do it. Um, obviously in the last video I said that I'd done quite well with travelling but it's and getting out of the house and going long distances from um, you know the safe place that is home. However, now what I want to do is I want to try and be alone a lot more. Uh, try and get used to that feeling of not having anyone around you. So although you don't have a safe place, you also now don't have safe people. Uh, which for me feels a lot more challenging right now because it's like I'm starting a fresh journey. Uh, but today it's time to go for a drive by myself, uh, spend a bit of time in the house by myself. Uh, and yeah, just, just see how it goes. Probably talk about a few things along the way. Maybe talk about how... Um, diet is affecting me, how my sugar cravings are affecting me, uh, sleep, supplements, things like that, and just have a bit of a ramble while I uh, try and keep a level head as I drive solo. Uh, it'd be really good to get to the shop today because I've run out of sparkling water. So yeah, let's see how that goes. All right guys, so here we go, just doing a little bit of exposed therapy, driving alone. I'm gonna try and do something I haven't done ever which is to get to a shop by myself during the day when it's going to be quite a bit busier uh, which, you know, isn't going to be the easiest thing in the world for me but time to give it a go uh, so yeah, let's just see how this goes today fingers crossed and uh, I'll probably make a little stop along the way to talk to you about how it's going alright guys, so I just parked up I'm close, about three minutes away from my destination and I pulled over to take off my jumper because I could feel myself heating up a bit, getting a bit of that anxiety uh, racing. So, I thought I'd pull over and tell you what I'm doing right now to help myself through this anxiety. I can feel myself shaking a bit, can feel myself feeling a little bit, you know. But, for the most part I feel okay. And it's because one of the most common mistakes I used to make when I was feeling anxious would I, I'd be trying to get a breath. But if you realise there, I'm breathing out far longer than I'm breathing in. I don't know the science behind it. I'm sure it's a pretty simple explanation. But basically, that just stops the the panicky trying to get the breath all the time um, I suppose it's like it feels like you've just run a mile when actually you haven't done any running at all or any form of exercise but your body with the heart pounding with the adrenaline flowing through it it feels like you've just done a load of exercise um, so I suppose that's what I'm trying to do um, just trying to control the breathing just like you do after you've done a load of exercise, you control your breathing, you don't actually realise you're doing it, it's completely subconscious, but you control your breathing to get your heart rate back to normal, that's just what humans do. So I'm just treating it exactly like that. And sure enough, like the shakes do eventually go away. Um, so that's good, so that's what I'm doing right now. I did stop off to get a bottle of water at a shop near to me, just because I think I don't mind using crutches like the bottle of water, as long as I am as long as I'm trying to push myself to something new. Uh, for stuff that I've already achieved with crutches, I then try and take the crutches away, but I don't see any problem with using the crutches just to get through something new, um, just until the brain gets used to it, because that's all it is. I'm trying to get through three bouts of exposure therapy every day, so this morning I spent some time alone in the house, which is something that I didn't used to be able to do, and I did feel a bit panicky, I had like basically the beginnings of a panic attack, but just rationalized and realized it was okay I did get through it and that's only going to get better through doing that more and more um, and then also doing this now and then I'm gonna go for a walk later so trying to get through three bits of exposure therapy every day which isn't easy <laughs> it feels like the most exhausting uphill struggle ever as I'm sure anyone out there knows who's done it but yeah, it is what it is. 
and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get myself over to the shop now I'll probably stop and take another video just before I get in the shop because I know that's gonna be when I feel the most anxious is just before I go in the shop because it's almost that thing of I'm gonna be surrounded by people what if I have a panic attack there all that kind of thing but I've got to get my fizzy water it's um yeah so see you at the shop here we are, made it to the shop. That's the first challenge done. Now it's about going in there, which is going to be a mega <laughs> fucking challenge. <laughs> Excuse my language. Uh, my stomach is just doing flips. Um, I need to go to the toilet. Um, I feel like my heart is in my mouth. It's just incredibly uncomfortable, you know? And this is one of those things where... I mean, fuck me. God, it's uncomfortable. I just need to go to the toilet so badly. Like, that is one of the... What, that is one of the most frustrating things about having bad anxiety is that need. Oh, God, that need to just go to the toilet when you feel it. It's so tricky. It's bloody difficult. Um... Because then, then you start to associate little things like needing the toilet or doing exercise so you get that high heart rate up or you start to associate all these little feelings with anxiety. So things that wouldn't normally induce sort of panic after 10 years of dealing with anxiety, they do a little bit. So having a bad stomach or feeling a bit drowsy or feeling a bit fuzzy headed, maybe you've just got a cold or something, it just makes it 10 times harder. Um, but that said, the only way to get through it is by doing shit like this. Again, I'm sorry about my language, I'm just pretty nervous, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. But it's got to be done, so I'm going to do it. Um going to head in there, just see, see, uh, you know, see how I do. See how I do. I'll give you an update as to whether I go in there, have a panic attack, come out and drive home with nothing, or if I come back with sparkling water, like a like a conquering hero returning with uh, a four pack of sparkling. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. See you on the other side. So, did it strutted back to the car with the water and a bit of shopping. Once I was in there, I actually really enjoyed myself, but um, but yeah, I mean, it was a challenge getting in there, but once I was in there, it was really good, very rewarding. <clears throat> I always find myself striking up conversations with people to make myself feel more comfortable. You know, it just sort of reaffirms that people are, you know, people are good. Uh, and no one's out there to sort of like, you know, have a go at you or anything. You know, the world's not actually a a terrifying place as people with anxiety like myself would believe um, as I believe literally moments before going into the shop but once you're in there you realize people are actually all right and it's much easier so yeah that's two out of three today for exposure therapy I'm gonna go for a walk later and then that should be it done so a successful day of exposure therapy managed to get some good healthy foods um, trying to stay off sugar at the moment because I just feel like that just messes with me so much I always feel like absolutely terrible after sugar uh, I think I just get that like sugar slump and like I said before all those things that would normally make anyone else just feel like oh, this is normal like a sugar slump just like I've had too much sugar for someone with anxiety it reflects the symptoms that you might be used to from from getting panic attacks or feeling anxious so you know it's just not worth it in the long run just in terms of living a free life uh, the momentary pleasure of eating sugar just isn't just isn't worth it uh, and there's all sorts of research out there about how bad sugar is for you for all sorts of reasons. Um, yeah, for your gut and, you know, obviously that controls everything. So, yeah, successful day of the old exposure therapy. And on to the next one. All right.